The supplies you'll need for this project is just a basic pencil, some paint brushes of your choice, um, some paint, I'm just going with basic black. Um, you'll also need a pillowcase or some fabric if you plan to make your own. Some cardboard to go inside the pillowcase cover so that it doesn't bleed through to the back side. And then you'll need some paper and some sort of template. I've already made a template out of this paper. So, I think that's all we'll need. Probably some scissors too if you need to cut the paper or the cardboard. Alright, let's get started. So for the base of the pillow, I decided to use this pillow cover I picked up at Ikea. Just basic white or off-white. Um, has a zip enclosure and the size I have is um, 20 inch by 20 inch. So I'll take this out of the package, give it a quick iron, get all the wrinkles out of it, and then we'll get started on the project. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is take your pillowcase and put the cardboard inside, like so and then lay it all out nice and flat. Make sure it's centered wherever your design is going to be. You want to make sure that there's going to be cardboard so that when you start painting the um, design doesn't bleed onto the back side of your cushion or your pillowcase cover. So then what you're going to want to do is take your design and on the back side of your design you want to scribble in with your pencil all along the design to get to fill it all in. Then what you're going to do is you're going to flip it upside down or right side up I should say. Oops, here we go. And then you're going to center your design onto the pillowcase. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. I don't like things to be too terribly perfect. So, uh, about like that, I guess that will be good. So then what I'm going to do also is just take a little bit of painter's tape on the top and the bottom and just hold it in place. I'm going to tape my design onto the pillowcase. So. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start tracing the lines of our design with our pencil. And that should transfer the design onto our fabric. And while we're doing this, we want to make sure that we're not letting the fabric gather up at all. Make sure it's all nice and flat. And then we just trace the lines like that. So then on the other side, I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can see the design comes through. And that's what we'll paint along. So transfer the whole design and then we'll continue with the painting. Once you have the whole design trace, you want to just kind of pick it up a little bit without moving the, the design and make sure that all the lines have been marked and you can see them very well. Make sure you haven't missed any spots. These middle parts are giving me some trouble. So I'm going to go over them just a little bit. And once you know you have your design transferred well, you can take it off like that. And then there's your design to paint. I don't know if you can see that or not. But if the lines aren't very dark and you want them darker, you can just quickly run your pencil over the line. Just so you don't get confused once you start painting. These little ones must not have had a very good 
So, just go over your lines until you're happy with it, and then we can start the painting. Alright, so you can see I've already kind of started painting, so I want to see how it went. But basically, I am using, uh, I don't know, this is a paintbrush from Artist Loft, which is the brand at Michael's. It's a number four. I don't know what that means, but anyways, in case you're wondering. So then you just dip, I've got a little bit of paint here on a tray, and you just dip your paintbrush into it, just making sure that you get the paint like right on the tip of the paintbrush. Not too, You don't want to cover the whole thing, just a little bit of paint at a time. I don't know if you can see that or not, but anyways. And then you just start tracing the lines. Let's see here. We'll go like, we'll start at this end. Real nice and gently. It moves really, it's not going to be a fast project. It'll, you just got to take your time and go slowly. And you don't want to push too hard either, so then you might get little bubbles of paint. And you only want to work in one direction. I have found that out already. Like normally you know how you'd go back and forth to color, like if you're painting on wood. It doesn't work very well on fabric. So if you need to retrace a line to start Go back up and start anew. So anyways, that's what I'm going to do all the way around my design. And I'm not worrying too much about it being perfect. Like sometimes it gets a little thicker and sometimes it gets a little thinner. I don't worry about that too much because I kind of want it to have like a hand-drawn kind of doodly look. Is kind of what I'm going for. So, mistakes or imperfections is okay on this project. Okay, so I'm going to continue painting my design, and because it's so slow, I am not going to bore you with the details, but I will show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, so I have finished painting the whole design, and now I'm going to let it sit for a couple hours to dry. Um, it really doesn't need that much time to dry, but I want it to really set first, and then... I'm going to throw it into the washing machine and then I also put it through the dryer and that will set the paint and also may remove some of the paint so it won't look quite as um, crisp and new which is kind of what I'm hoping it will do give it more of a faded distressed look so yeah so that is all you have to do and then once it's all washed and dried you just put the pillowcase inside and you are done